the moral missing thread. Welcome back. Or just welcome if this is your first time to the channel. Um, today I am I'm happy to present the the first installment of a new series on the channel, which is the uh, Patreon request series. What I'm going to be doing is uh, my patrons, uh, each one of them, you know, when, when you become a patron, you make a request and I do a reaction to it. So for those of you who may be interested in getting in on this, I left a link in the description below to my Patreon and you can go there and pledge your allegiance to the channel and join and uh, become part of this moral militia here. And um, yeah, so this video, uh, this, is, this is a request from Outside Context Problem. The song is uh, from a band called Revamp, from a band called Revamp. From a band called Revamp. From a band called Revamp. The song is called Disdain. It's a live video from Grass Pop 2010. Uh, apparently, Revamp is Floor Jensen's first ba or band before Nightwish, or I don't know if it's her first band, but apparently, it was like kind of a big deal before she was with Nightwish or something uh, I'm I'm still unfamiliar this is uncharted territory for me so you know I'm learning as I go but you know I'm, I'm kind of excited about it I've heard a little bit of Nightwish there are some I, 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 I genuinely like because there were some that I wasn't feeling at all but you know I'm, I'm in it for the journey and I'm ready to explore more and you know things affiliated with Nightwish like apparently this band all right, let's go ahead and jump into some uh, revamp here. Well, that was uh, the ballad, obviously. Uh, are you ready for something more heavy? Yeah. Grass Bob, was that a yes? I can't hear you. Fucking hell, it's hot up here. <laughs> are you ready for a next song? And you guys, are you ready for a next song? Okay, so a <laughs> hey, um, I really like the outfit. God, what a place to put. hold on. I'm so, I'm sorry. That's a. And you guys. Okay, so um, that so she she's like. Uh, the outfit. I love the outfit. I, I, I can only imagine it is like hot as f no! wherever they are. But, um, God, I would, I would be dying. Well, I, I can't even say I'd be dying in that because that's literally, I wear all black every day. And, you know, for a long time, I only wore boots, whether it was summer, winter, fall, spring, whatever. And, you know, obviously... So, I mean, it's summer now, and <laughs> here in the U.S., it's summer. But so, it, she's got blonde hair, blondish. That's, I wasn't expecting that. Um, but yeah, she's like getting everybody, she's like the, the, the hype man. It's like she's already asked them so many times, like she, she's basically said here, you want another song? I'm going to play another song. Here comes another song. This song's going to be heavy. You want to hear another song? How about another song? It's just like, how many different ways, but... Ready? Yes. Let's go. Destain! Oh. Okay, I like the direction this is going. I mean, maybe maybe I need headphones or maybe I'm just hearing things or maybe it just the setting. I don't I I don't mean to criticize. 
because I've played many, 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 many hundreds of shows, and I know what it is like sometimes. But this, the when this started out, it maybe I'm just not. It's my first time hearing it, so I'm just not acclimated to like a, something that is potentially deliberate but it sounded super sloppy like no offense or, but that sounded that sounded real sloppy okay. let's go Destin! I like this. This is uh this is good. Like I like the the changes in dynamic. I like uh when she first came in with the clean that kind of haunting, you know, it This is this is this is nice and I like her uh her more rough kind of growly, screamy, whatever you want to call it. Um that voice, I, I'm digging that. This is a, it's got very thrashy elements to it. It kind of reminds me of a, a newer a female metal band called Burning Witches. <laughs> that style it kind of reminds me of a little bit but so far I'm, I'm digging this let's continue Okay, who is that guy? Is he the... No. I feel like he might be in another project and he might be the vocalist for another project. I don't know. I'm going to research this and see if my uh, assumption is correct. But that was uh, that was very cool. Very unexpected. I like as when she, she had the cleans going and he came in under it like and he's just got yeah that, that's that that whole black metal style vocal that I really like your death awaits us at 
pausing for this but I, I am because uh, it's just a personal gripe and it, it really has nothing to do with this band at all but I noticed she's got on the little green wristband and it's like why do venues do that why do promoters why do they do that why do they make the bands wear those stupid things it's like so many shows you know you plan on like your attire you have everything perfect and then they give you like some you get to the venue and they're like oh i need to give you a wristband it's like well i, I see your hot pink wristband and i really don't it's gonna look bad like i'm performing i don't want the distraction of a hot pink wristband and in this case it looks to be maybe neon green well not neon but close enough but like why why do they make you do that like, well, you go to the bar. Well, I, I can kind of understand that, but I don't drink. So, it doesn't... It shouldn't apply to me. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm uh, Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I cut sugar out of my life. Much like I did every other substance. But, tomorrow is my birthday. And I ran out of sugar-free drinks, and I don't like drinking tap water, and I don't want to go to the store, and I've had this case of Baja Blast sitting in my fridge since I stopped, well, since before I stopped doing sugar, so it's been a couple months now. So I said, F it, and I decided to drink one. Don't judge me. Alright, was it? Well damn. Okay. Okay, well that was uh I'm not really sure what I was expecting going into that. I guess I was expecting more of a Nightwish kind of sound, um, but that was that was that was different than what I was expecting. I guess. <coughs> okay, so that was that was actually really good. I, I I really enjoyed that. There were there was elements there. I noticed sometimes on the fills it found it sounded a little bit sloppy to me. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing, you know, I don't know. And uh, when she did that, that one little section where she like went operatic, um, the tone in her voice sounded weird compared to what I've heard from her with Nightwish. It was more of a muddled kind of tone, if that makes sense. Rather than like, ah! it was like, ah! <laughs> but yeah, uh, 
all in all, I, 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 I was digging that. I, I, I was <laughs> honestly, I was afraid I wasn't gonna like it and that I was gonna have to be like, sorry, I'm not feeling this. But fortunately, that was not the case. This was this was enjoyable. Uh, I like the guitar harmonies in that one section. That was great. Um, she's she's definitely a performer. She she does re really well. Um, she's very stylish. I mean, her outfits with apparently both this and Nightwish. Uh, she's got a thing for for black and leather, and that's uh, that's cool because that's a uh, that's a fucking metal. But yeah, uh, thank you, outside context problem for uh, suggesting this or requesting this, and I look forward to doing more Patreon requests as more people join the Patreon. So uh, until next time. Okay, so I'm I'm terrible with Dutch names pronunciation I, so I don't know if this is Jord or Jord or Jord Otto or Otto Jord Otto that's what it looks like but apparently uh, th this is the guitarist uh, from that video the one that was doing the uh, the black metal style vocals uh, apparently he's also in a band called the blackest gray which is like a progressive kind of blackened death metal band and uh, apparently they're they're pretty good and he is a phenomenal guitarist um apparently he also outside of revamp and the blackest gray he has a solo project under his own name and uh, i found a playthrough track of a song he had which kind of stood out to me called uh, misophonia which is ironic because i was just telling my boss at work the other day a lot of my my issues um is the fact that i, I have misophonia um which is a a an aggressive uh, aversion is like a full-on hatred for particular sounds like certain certain things that you hear will like trigger like a, a violent like just I, I don't know, um, I, but there are certain sounds that I'm forced to hear at work on a daily basis, which sit on a daily basis. Which just send me spiraling out inside, and it's so uncomfortable isn't even a word for it. It's like psychological torture, basically. Um, but yeah, so, I, you know, that I saw that, and I was like, oh, well, I need to check this out. So, um... I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna share a couple of seconds of what I just discovered with why am I not even looking at the camera I'm looking at the damn light so I'm gonna share a couple seconds of what I just discovered with you guys and try not to look at the light
So yeah, that was a, a bonus reaction. Okay, so upon discovery of that uh, just moments ago, I, I didn't watch that whole video. I just I watched the first little section of it and was just kind of blown away and immediately was like, okay, I need to talk about this and react to the rest of it. So I, that's basically, consider that a bonus reaction because I did not get that far into the video and it was even more mind-boggling than like I was expecting the rest of it to be. So I am thoroughly, thoroughly grateful for the request for revamp because it led me to this. So now I have to check out the Blackest Gray, like all their stuff, and I have to get more into this guy's solo stuff. Uh, I love new music. So, again... It'd be more to rap.